Hi everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood ergonomist Gary, and uh, spring break is over for most people now, and kids are headed back to school. Unfortunately, with the COVID-19 situation, uh, a lot of those kids are having to go to school virtually. And so we want to take a look today at some of the things that you can do around the house to maybe make that homeschooling a little bit more ergonomically friendly for your students. I have with me today my friendly assistant, Daisy. Uh, Daisy is 26. I'm nine. Daisy is nine, and she is a junior in high school. I'm in fourth grade. And Daisy is in fourth grade, and she's going to be our, our example student today to help us out. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, look at the work surface that you're going to be working on. Find a dedicated work surface for your student to work at. Um, maybe that's the kitchen table. Maybe that's your adult-sized computer desk and then we'll try to make some adjustments uh, for that. Here we've got just using a, a standard wooden card table uh, for Daisy to, to do her school work at. And the first piece that we really need to adjust is, or need to look at, is the chair. We've got a really nice solid surface uh, with a good solid back on it for Daisy to work at. Um, you really want to make sure that you have back support because not all of your students are going to have great posture. Now Daisy has excellent posture because she plays the accordion the piano. because Daisy plays the piano so she's used to trying to maintain that posture but we're still going to try to help her out a little bit because as you see her arms are a little bit sloped upward as she's trying to type on this uh, keyboard so let's Daisy go ahead and stand up and we'll uh, try to raise you up a little bit here with these cushions that, are, that we have so go ahead and have a seat there on those cushions and we'll add this one behind your back okay that feel okay all right now as as she starts to type you'll see that her arms look a lot better she's raised up higher the only problem is now that we've raised her up now her feet are basically dangling so we need to find something to, to rest her feet on and you can use various things from around the house whether that's a, a bunch of old encyclopedias or some old textbooks or in our case, we've uh, got a, a, a storage container. Uh, we went ahead and emptied Daisy's fireworks out of this just for purposes of the video. But uh, really, you can leave stuff in the storage container uh, as long as it's not fragile or highly explosive. So we'll go ahead and put this underneath Daisy's feet. Okay. And you can see now she looks a lot more ergonomic. She fits the, 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 that table a lot better. Her arms look a lot better. Um, the one problem that we're having right now is because she's got that laptop, uh, her monitor screen is really pretty low. So what we'll want to do for Daisy is raise that screen up a little bit. So we're going to take just some old textbooks here that we've got, and we'll raise that up. Okay. Now you can see here that um, Daisy's line of sight is right about at the top of that monitor. That's about where we want it, because your eyes naturally fall a little bit down, but we want to avoid that awkward neck posture. So her, her head looks really good now, but as she goes to try to type on this, now she's in a super awkward position with her arms again. So one of the best investments that you can make, really, is to uh, purchase an external keyboard, as well as an external mouse, Okay, and that will help your students work a lot more efficiently and have their uh, arms be in a lot better position for you. Okay, um, let's see. One other piece of equipment, as long as you're purchasing equipment, uh, might be to uh, grab a headset while you're at the store. This headset will help your child focus on the activities that's be, that are being uh, happening on the screen, as well as keep from driving you crazy from hearing everything that's going on on their screen as well. So uh, a good a headset is a good investment there as well. Now, do I expect Daisy to sit at this card table for six hours a day, five days a week? Probably not. We wanna get her up and moving every so often, and so we might need to find an alternative workspace for her to work at. Uh, you can do various different surfaces around the, the, around the house, maybe it's the kitchen counter, maybe you've got a, a bar that she could work off of that's at, the, at a pretty good height, or in our case, Daisy, come on over, in our case, um, we've just found an old high chair, and Daisy's pretty tall, so we've gone ahead and raised that up with another milk crate, 
And we're going to put her computer keyboard right there, okay, to let her work off of that. Here, let me hang this down on the other side. And then we're going to uh, put this mouse over here on a stool. You can kind of see the stool over here. If I put the mouse down right directly, okay, and Daisy grabs that mouse, it's really super low. So we're going to take those books again that we had, and we're going to set the mouse on top of that for Daisy to use. Okay, a little bit better. Now she's able to use that mouse, and she looks a lot better than she did before. Okay, one thing that I forgot to point out was uh, we're going to take this high chair, we're going to just open up my computer screen a little bit, and we'll set it down there on the high chair, angle that screen, and now her eyesight, her line of sight is right in line with the top line of that uh, laptop. Okay. The uh, last point that I want to make for everybody really is to make sure that you drink a lot of water. Encourage your students to drink a lot of water. It's good for your cellular processes and it's going to get you up and moving around a lot better and help you remind you to change those positions. Okay. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope that you found today's uh, little video helpful and stay safe. Bye bye.